in the last one we added our first item we are going to work with the tooltip for now so let's head over into your inventory into your interface and your inventory slot so inside inventory slot we want to do a check when we hover over so the first thing that we want to check if it's a valid class that's fine and dandy but now we want to find out what category it's in so get the defaults of the item break that open and here we want to do a switch on the category so if it's a consumable we go into the normal one if it's a material we go into the normal one if it's a equipment we are not going into the normal one so we need to set up that equipment and in here we're going to create a new widget blueprint we're going to call this one wvp equipment details inside of equipment details we're going to add a vertical box and inside that vertical box we're going to add a horizontal box inside that horizontal box we're going to add a size box that size box we're going to override to 390 by 128 we're going to set it to fill and we're going to line it to the left and to the top inside of this size box we are going to add a border inside that border add another one first border we're going to have the content as white the brush as a darker tint like so inside this border we're going to add a horizontal box and inside that one another size box that size box is going to be overridden by 128 by 128 you're going to send uh, align that left and align that vertically center align vertically inside this size box you're going to add a image which is going to be called image icon it's going to be variable I'm going to leave it as is. The image size is going to be 64 by 64. Although it doesn't really matter when we're already, you know, setting it to, to align to the size box. Inside of our horizontal box, you're going to add a vertical box. Inside of that vertical box, we're going to add a text. This is going to be called item name text. It's going to be variable. We set it to auto stretched and we're going to just keep it as default name this one uh, this name is very long we're gonna set the size down to like 18 gonna set the color to let's just keep it as a whitish but add a shadow color and then let's move it down to a little bit gray anyway like that underneath that name text you're gonna add a border so into your vertical box inside of your vertical box add another text yeah so here inside of this text this is gonna be called slot slot text so this is just going to keep our slot text <laughs> variable fill that auto rename that to very long armor very long armor slot type just a default something so we can see how it looks change that to 14 over to italic and change the color i'm going to do a bluish one for this Maybe, should we have a little shadow color? No, we're not gonna have a shadow color to that. Underneath that text, we're gonna add another text right away. So inside our vertical box. This text is gonna be rarity text. It's gonna be variable. Fill, align that there. Variable, I'm gonna change that to, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna change that color later. But let's call this one legendary ASD, just because that's a long name. This one is also going to be 14 and it's going to be italic. Underneath that, we want to add a border to our vertical box. Under the border, we're going to add another text. This text is going to be hold shift for, for more info. We're going to keep, get this one a little bit grayish. 14, keep it as bold on that one. This border, maybe we can add a little bit of padding to move it down a little bit like that. And maybe leave it like this. Maybe change the everything border a little bit down. Like that, maybe. We can close our horizontal box. That's a lie. You can see this size box. This is your main, main detail window. Out from this, we're going to add another size box. So in your horizontal box, add another size box. We're going to call this one stats window not going to be variable override that to 256 by 128 uh, stretch it auto looks fine 
You know the drill, add a border and a second border. First border, we're gonna do the content a little bit darker and the brush color a little bit darker. Inside of this border, you wanna add a vertical box. Inside of that vertical box, we're gonna add text. We're gonna do the same for all of these, so I'm just gonna skip ahead once we finish one of them. There's gonna be attack power text. We're gonna do attack power 9999. Gonna change the color to a dark Gonna add a shadow alpha of one. Gonna do size of 12, 14, 16, maybe. Let's see how this looks. Attack power 999. Okay, now I'm just gonna duplicate this and add our remainders. Gonna have to make this a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna do 12 on all of these, on the size. So there's our stats. Maybe change the color if you want, I don't know. It's up to you. After that, we can minimize our stats window. We're gonna add another size box to our horizontal box. That's a lie. We're gonna add one to our vertical box. We're gonna override that by 390 by 128. So that's our entire our entire uh, thing, but we're gonna align it to the left so that it goes into our other one here. We're gonna call this one more info size box. This is the one that's gonna be collapsed by default and everything under it's gonna be is following this one's footsteps, right? So inside here, we're gonna add a border, you know the deal. Inside here, we're gonna add a text inside this border. We're just gonna call this one blah, 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 like so. We're gonna add a auto wrap. And that didn't actually do it. And I think that's just because it's too big of a word. Test default. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the color. So this content, change that to white. On your text, you can change that to a blackish one, maybe like that. Uh, this is a test, so maybe not. Regular on this one, I believe. It looks kind of good. I'm gonna have it down to like 16. And this is where you're gonna add your description text. So more info text, we're gonna call this one. More info text, and it's variable. File and save that. Now let us actually be able to call this. In your inventory, we are swap uh, switching, right? So. Uh, actually, we need to go to our HUD. So in your content, your inventory, your interface, your HUD. Same as we did here. I don't know if you need to add it here. You could probably spawn it in elsewhere if you want. I'm adding it in here so that I have full access to it right off, right off, right when I start. We're going to add a HUD ref to this. Don't even know if we need it, but honestly, everything goes through our HUD. So I'm not going to expose that. Inside our HUD, in your graph, Get your equipment details. Set the HUD ref. It's just nice to have that HUD ref because everything can be accessed through the HUD ref, you know? Now we need to set up our equipment. So if it's an equipment, we're gonna get the HUD ref. Actually, we're gonna move that a little bit away. We're gonna get the HUD ref. We're gonna get the uh, equipment details, uh, equipment details, not window. We're gonna get the equipment details. We're gonna set the visibility to be visible. Same as we're doing over there. After that, what do we want to change out? So in here, we got our name is very long. That's the item name text. Inside your equipment details, you want to get item name text and set text from that. Comes from our item details. So you're just going to plug all these into the valid slots. And I'm going to skip ahead. The slot text comes from the equipment slot. So we need to be able to get that. Okay, so we're actually gonna change a little thing so we don't have to worry too much. We're gonna get it into our item info. So inside your item info, we are gonna add something that we added into our master, into our master equipment. In master equipment, we added equipment slot. We're actually gonna add that into our item info instead. So in your item info, add a new variable. This would be called equipment slot of type equipment slot you can probably access it elsewhere i'm not going to be bothered to look into that right now we need to find a master item we need to compile that now over on over here now we got the equipment slot so we want to on slot text we want to go out from select uh, from the in text we want to get a select node the wildcard is our equipment slot so if it's weapon, then we're going to have weapon. Pilot, save that. Plug our equipment back in. 
So we got the slot text. Let's go over, go over here to to the detail scan. Now we got the rarity text that we need to figure out. So we'll get your equipment details, get rarity text, out from rarity text, set text, out from, we are going to set the text rarity. We're going to just get the rarity and do a to string. So enum to string, plug that into the text. And it's going to convert from string to text. After that, I want to get the rarity text. I want to set color and opacity of the rarity text. The color is going to be make slate color. Out from slate color, you want to do a select color. That's the light, not select color. You want to just do a select node. The index is our rarity enum. So if it's an uncommon one, maybe we want it to be just like a pinkish. Now, what else do we need in our equipment details? In our equipment details, we need a hold shift for more info. We're not going to fuck with that right now. The attack power. So we need the the text. So over on your slot again. Get the equipment details. Get attack power text. Set text. And this is going to be just very simple. So I'm just going to probably skip ahead on this one. No, let's okay. Uh, the in text, we need to format the text. I'm going to do attack power curly brackets AP for me and final inflect like so. The targets needs to come from our equipment details. So get magic power text goes into the text target. The stats themselves we're going to compile this out from our break on our item again we you can do this differently because right now in our master equipment it's the one keeping our our equipment info we're going to add that to our master items a item info stats info that's going to be of type what did we call that equipment info Okay, let's call that equipment info as well then. Save that, go to your master item, compile that. Everything should be fine. Over on your slot, now we got equipment info. We're gonna break that open. That's actually f bullshit. I added the wrong one. We wanted the item stat struct. So over on your master item, on your item info, I'm going to add the stat struct. This is basically making all of these uh, in our master equipment obsolete. We don't care. You can probably, you can access those uh, through casting, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to set everything up in our master item. So head back into your inventory slot, compile and save that. Now we got our stat struct. We can break that open, bring it over here, and plug in our. Yeah, so it's completely the wrong way. <laughs> agility into agility and so on. The more info. Should we do that as description? I think we are going to do that as description because if we go to our equipment details, we don't really have. Yeah, so this is going to be the description. So more info text. I'm going to get your more info text, bring that all the way over here, set text, and the text is going to be the description, like so, it looks like shit, I don't care. I completely forgot to add it as a tooltip, right, because we need to set the tooltip. Here we got our WP item tooltip, this is going to be our equipment details, that's going to be the, the tooltip. There we go. Doesn't really look too good right now because it's a bit hard to read. And also we don't have our item and no info is actually being generated. And that's because we moved our info, remember? So let's go over to our item. We can actually remove the stat struct, remove the item info and remove that. We can compile and save this. Head over into your helmet, in my case. 
It's going to be, let's try to move it to rare because then it's going to be blue. This is going to be a head socket. The mesh is going to be our helmet mesh. Uh, I'm not going to set up the socket right now. Uh, we're going to have one of everything. Pile and save. Back to a map. Now we got our our uh, name showing up. We still don't have the icon though. Did we not set up the icon here? Probably not, to be fair. Let's get our details. Before we set it to be the tooltip, I want to make sure that we have everything. So get icon. And then set brush from texture. Texture, of course, is coming from our icon over here, way over there. And then set it as a tooltip. There we go. We got our icon. If I hold shift, nothing actually works, so let's fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to our first person character, first of all. Just add something. I don't know if I have it open here. No, we don't. We're going to add a keyboard shift. We're going to make a boolean. It's going to be called a shift down. If we press it, it's true. If we release, it's false. Head back into your equipment details in your, in your graph. We're going to add a new custom event. We're going to call this one visible. What we're going to check for here is if our self is visible. Branch that out. If we are visible, we're going to get the more info size box. We're going to get our HUD ref. We're going to get our inventory. We're going to get our FPP. And we're going to get a shift down. And then into another branch. We're going to call this one in a minute. If we are not, if we're not holding that shift, we're going to get the more emphasize box. We're going to set the visibility of that. If we're false, we're going to set the visibility of that to collapsed. After that, we're going to do delay 0 0.01 and call our visible once more. So it's going to call back and loop. If shift is down we want to set the visibility to visible and we want to do a delay 0 0.01 on complete do visible check once more so basically we're checking if we're visible if we are visible awesome then we're going to continue with our loops however when it comes to here comes to the end it's going to go back and if we're not visible so we're not hovering over it anymore it's going to shoot out a false and it's going to stop the loop, right? We are not calling this yet. Also, in our inventory slot, where we do our event leave, we want to add our equipment details as well. And we're going to set the visibility of that to collapsed. Let us do a test. We're, not, we're still not calling the visible, so don't expect too much. Nothing happens when we click it. So let us call that right now. Over on equipment details, we're going to drag out and call our visible function, our visible custom event, sorry. Now, if we click play, we hover over it, working perfectly. If I hold down shift, nothing actually happens. Let's figure out what's going on. Okay, so now we got it, right? So I restarted it, now we got it. However, it's it's not uh, behaving correctly. Am I setting the text? Have I done so? I'm, I'm dumb. I'm so stupid, dude. We're, we're not setting the text to visible. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It's the more info size box that we're going to fuck with. Believe it or not, this shit happened in when I was setting up the system on the other project as well. Let's so make sure that it's set to not a testable. It should be fine because we're setting it here. There we go. Now we are able to get our details when we hold down shift. This episode turned out to be a bit longer than I anticipated. Now we got our details and we got our stats. We should probably start working on uh, adding our weapon and uh, finishing up that part before we equip the item and finish the series. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye.